Supersonic A-Ball, yeah! <laughs> Hiya, Julian here from uh, Very Mental, part of the mental team. And you may have guessed from the title of this one what the mission is. But I was watching uh, Mythbusters the other day. They've got their own channel now. You can see all sorts of their stuff on there. It's great, it is. But I was watching the one where they made a vacuum cannon for a ping pong ball. They got an old bit of tube taped up both ends. Well, they set the ping pong ball in one end and then taped up both ends and then sucked all the air out to create a vacuum inside the tube. And when they burst the tape at the end of the ping pong ball, the vacuum inside, in theory, collapses really fast as all the air rushes in, and that shoots the ping pong ball out the other end very, very fast indeed. They did all sorts of other things that I'll probably get to later on, but they got good results from that. But I was thinking, a ping pong ball, that's a little bit whippy. A little bit boring and you know floaty and very ping pong that's that's not what we like we wanted something with a bit more gumption something with more go a bit more impressive and i was thinking i grew up in a pub and we had a pool table and i love a bit of pool it's great fun it is they got loads of pool balls knocking around so i thought well an eight ball they're quite iconic um, everybody knows an eight ball. So I thought, right, let's see, let's set a mission here. We've got a target, we've got to have something to aim for. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see if we can get a supersonic eight ball using the same science and physics that the Mythbusters were using. And also there's another uh, video on YouTube that I really like. Destin from Smarter Every Day, he made a supersonic baseball cannon. I mean, it is a marvellous piece of kit. The engineering is brilliant. You should watch it. I'll put a link in the description. But their budget is massive. We can't, we haven't got anywhere near that sort of budget or um, engineering let's say, capability. <laughs> but yeah, what they do, they got, their, they got the baseball to do 1,050 miles an hour, which is Mac 1.3, which is just brilliant. And they shoot it, all sorts of stuff. It's, it's a fabulous vid, you really should watch it, it really is, he makes great stuff. I love it. So we figured with our um, ability, 760 something, I think, miles an hour for Mac 1, go supersonic. So the um, standard British pool ball is two inches in diameter. And after a long old search on the internet, I've discovered that you can buy plastic gas pipe, which has an internal diameter of exactly two inches. It's absolutely perfect. I mean, it's made of nylon, so it's super slippy they will stick some lube in as well probably and we got ourselves a bit of that and we started doing tests obviously it's not going to be supersonic quite yet but you've got to start somewhere that looks awesome <laughs> that so if we met this to the side and then film it. Yeah, can we manage the side of this? Because we're here. We want it over there. Yeah. Nothing to mount it on like that though, we? Yeah. Have, we got a, have we got the throwaway tripod? We can really clamp it, yes. screw it. Yeah. But this doesn't go up for life because it's been crushed.
is in there. No, it's just the rubber, yeah? Yeah. Ricochet equipment. Well, it shouldn't ricochet. We need, um, <laughs> Lexan sheets. A Lexan safety <laughs> enclosure. Oh, it's not what it is. So, okay. Right, here are the things. You switch on the compressor. Engage. Now, hopefully this holds the vacuum. Oh, oh it's live now, don't walk. Yes. <laughs> I can't see it anymore. Last year, you're making me feel scared. What's it saying then? What have we got to see? Oh, oh, yeah, about 10, 10, 12, minus 12, for your side. So you come up to a that's not in PSI, is it? Yeah, but one bar is 14 PSI. Minus 14.7. Yeah, yeah, about 12 PSI in there, so like minus. It's pretty good. That yeah, looks like it's all the way there, though. Yeah. Right then. You ready? <laughs> Go for it! Find someone in a minute, have a go. Go around. 
good thing is that you can pull something out that seals the inside. Boom. times that by the frame rate which is 239.76 frames per second blah blah blah, blah. it all works out at 88.5 miles an hour which is a long way off supersonic however a little bit more than you need for time travel which is nice stuff up and shoot that with the artery. Well, that sounds dangerous for that, eh? Through this glass. And well, we've got a good, we've got a point. This is where we hit. <laughs> About there. Oh, there we go, we need to stay a little that. Oh, on path minus one, which is clever. Right, duck. Have I got a duck? I don't know. Go. <laughs> That's the ball. Oh, that's the ball, dude. Cans! <laughs> oh, yeah, turn it off. You've got to do that. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> what are the cans like then? Well, it's got a ball, ball sort of shape, isn't it? <laughs> wow! Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's
into action. Right, that was rather fun. What we need is a bigger one. Any thoughts on that? Um, I've got an idea. Come okay, with me. Okay, fair enough. Can't see. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's what I made earlier. <laughs> that might be interesting. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Yes. Blue man game. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is going to be awesome. <laughs> We're going to need a really long dibber. Oh no, we can load it from the arm. We'll load it from one end and then um, we'll make a gimbal so we can aim it. <laughs> and then um, then we might try some compressed air with it as well. <laughs> yeah. Relatively straight, straight-ish. Straight enough, I think. No, that, that's good. In there. Okay, till next time then. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need something bigger to film it. We're going to need a bigger boat. We're going to need... <laughs> we got bigger everything. Yeah. We need bigger everything. Supersonic A-Ball!